So, air conditioning, HVAC, plumbing, electricity, those things you don't really miss until they're actually gone. Let's start with electricity. When the electricity goes out, or a bulb goes, first thing you do is check the light bulb, make sure that it's a good bulb. In wet areas like kitchens and bathrooms, there are outlets that are ground fault circuit interrupters, or GFCIs. They will occasionally pop, and they're very easy to reset by the button. If that's not the issue, then it's out to the breaker box. And here at the breaker box, hopefully all of your breakers are accurately labeled, so you know which one to check. Now keep in mind, when a breaker goes, it sometimes doesn't go all the way. And in order to reset a breaker, you have to turn it completely off and then turn it back on. If that doesn't work, or if you hear any noises in your breaker box, or if you're concerned about any heat, stop right there, call an electrician. Call a licensed electrician. This is the air handler. The air handler is what cools your home. Air comes through the air handler, through compressor coils, and runs cold air back to the house and takes moisture out of the air. When all that happens, it goes through a filter. Every 30 days or every 90 days, depending on the type of filter you have, you should change the filter to ensure nice, clean air. At the same time, when the moisture is removed from the air, it goes to a tray, runs down a condenser line, and runs outside. The condenser line can get clogged and should be flushed occasionally. When you flush it, pour a little bleach or a little vinegar and follow that by maybe a gallon of water to flush out the line. Outside is the compressor. The compressor is a unit that compresses the coolant and drives it through the coil to cool the air in the house. Around the compressor, there should be no bushes, no shrubbery, no debris. It has to have full airflow in order to be efficient. If there's a problem with the compressor, do not try to fix it yourself. Call a qualified HVAC technician to take care of that for you. Know where your master water shutoff is before you need to know where your master shutoff is. If there's a leak in the house that can't be turned off, go immediately to your master water line and turn it off there. Knowing where that is can save you a lot of trouble and of course save you a lot of damage. Well, I've got my light, the room is cool, and a nice cool glass of water. But if any of those should go away, I'll know just what to do. But to be honest with you, a friend, a neighbor, or an unqualified handyman can cause more harm than good to both themselves or your home. For this healthy home, I'm your Mr. Handyman, Dennis McGee.